CPM is frequently used in the field of toxicology. You may be required to resolve situations that include finding the concentration in PPM of a pollutant in a given environment. Let's see how we can solve this type of situation. Let's measure the amount of pollutant in water near a lake. A sample of 250 liters of water contains 0.055 grams of this pollutant. We want to calculate its concentration in ppm. Remember that ppm refers to the ratio of 1 to 1 million between the mass of solute and the mass or volume of a solution. Remember also that mass is measured in grams and volume is measured in milliliters. Let's start by making conversions in order to use this formula. The mass of our solute, 0.055 grams, is already in grams, so there's nothing to change there. Our 250 liter solution is measured in liters. We have to convert it into milliliters. 250 liters is equivalent to 250,000 milliliters. We get the following ratio, 0.055 grams divided by 250,000 milliliters is equal to the mass of the solute we are looking for divided by 1 million milliliters. To isolate the mass of the solute, we multiply each side of the relationship by 1 million. We must therefore divide 0.055 grams by 250,000 milliliters and then multiply everything by 1 million milliliters, which gives us a mass of 0.22 grams. Since we have a solute mass of 0.22 grams in a solution of 1 million milliliters, we can say that we have a concentration of 0.22 ppm of pollutant in the lake. We just solved our problem. We have seen how to solve the problem with cross multiplication. Now let's see how to solve the same problem using the formula for concentration in ppm. The concentration in ppm is calculated by dividing the mass of the solute by the volume of the solution, and then multiplying everything by 1 million. Let's replace these variables with the values given in the problem. We want to find the concentration. The mass of the solute is 0.055 grams, and the volume of the solution is 250,000 milliliters. So we divide 0.055 grams by 250,000 milliliters, and then multiply by 1 million. As a final answer, once again, we get 0.22 ppm. Keep in mind that ppm is a concentration like any other. To solve a situation with a concentration in ppm, we can use both the concentration formula and cross multiplication. It's just a matter of isolating the correct unknown variable.